everybody, it's Annette from The Art of Intuition. Today we're going to talk about UFOs, aliens, galactics. What do you want to call them? Look at what you do call them. Alien has a totally different vibration to the word than galactics do. Which word invokes more fear? Which word invokes more interest, curiosity? A lot of people set in different places on this, and it's probably explained a lot of different ways. There have been a lot more people saying they see UFOs. It's kind of been a hotter topic of late. I think 60 Minutes did something on it. I didn't exactly see it. People were talking about it, and it was very funny because the people talking about it were saying that they, you know, aliens don't exist, it's not really real. And when you expand your consciousness, and the more you expand your consciousness, the more you start to realize is that here's the earth shattering concept that we are the aliens. <laughs> we have galactic aspects. We are those things. We just don't embrace those aspects. Some people do. You will see a lot of people that say they're channeling different races of aliens. I mean, it's really them it's a higher aspect of them. It's kind of like when you channel anything. It doesn't even matter what it is. It's still just a higher aspect of you. It's an aspect of you you haven't embraced in yet. People say they see a UFO. They're just seeing an aspect of them. Of them. It's kind of like when people say they see a ghost. It's just an aspect of them. It's aspects they haven't embodied in. It's aspects they might be trying to transcend. The galactic aspects are very different than when you start embodying in your soul aspect. Your soul aspects have a real connection and love for humanity where the galactic ones don't. It's kind of funny because you'll hear so many people always ask that question. <laughs> well, if they're there, why don't they land? It's like, well, one, we're already here. Two, <laughs> Earth has been looked at in, a con in the consciousness field for a long time as a, kind of like a galactic prison to clear galactic karma. <laughs> Nobody wants to be here. <laughs> Nobody wants to be in a human body and disconnected because the human body, the DNA is a very disconnected state. So no, they don't want to be here. <laughs> it's not something that they would really want to be involved in, in a sense. You'll see it described as if it's, you're talking to someone that's very galactic and I say very galactic because some people are very much into those aspects, whether they know it or not. A kind of detached from humanity in a sense. They might be more into genetics because genetics is a, in certain forms, is a very galactic aspects, very Andromedan aspect. The genetics, DNA, manipulation of DNA, all that stuff is galactic. Artificial intelligence, it's all galactic. It's all galactic aspects. It's all galactic information. That's where all the information comes in. You see all these people coming through with all this information. It comes from those galactic aspects. So they're feared quite a bit. They've, they're feared a lot. If you see people, aliens, galactics, it's more a fear thing because they don't look like humans. When people start opening up to their galactic aspects, they tend to gravitate toward the ones that look more human. The Palladians are a race that looks more human. So a lot of times that's where people will gravitate to in the beginning because when they do see pictures of aliens, it, it invokes a fear. So look at how you feel about the word. Look at how you feel about when you view something that looks more alien. Feel if you have any fear around it because if you have any fear around it, you're blocking being able to embody in those aspects of yourself because there's very no nonsense energy to those aspects. And I'm noticing more and more people I'm talking to that have very strong galactic aspects. Normally they don't want to be here. They'll kind of say here. They don't feel like they really fit in. They don't really want to be on the planet. They just feel out of sorts and they don't really have any connection with humanity. They feel very outside of it all. And a lot of times there'll be a lot of judgment for that because they judge themselves for not caring about it. I had one person who was very into his galactic aspects, though he didn't really understand that connection in a sense at that point. He, he wasn't really 
seeing that seeing it like that but he said he saw them as pets humans to him were like pets it didn't matter which one was there he would just take one out and put in another one and it seems cold and detached but that's what the galactic races are <laughs> right there's two parts to a consciousness journey when you do go the deep soul root and the soul work and you get into the Christ energy the mermaid energy the angel energy the um, God aspect you name it <laughs> is all sorts of different aspects of yourself higher aspects of yourself and then you go into the galactic you go up you go down and then you go up some people go up first and they go down because you have to have that connection with humanity because the galactic races don't hold that they just don't hold that you'll know you're starting to connect if you start dreaming like I'm just dreaming about galactic races you might start being drawn to different things that have galactic ties in some sense to you. you might be drawn to more space movies it kind of depends on where you are with it I always kind of like space movies but not a lot I can't see I've been super drawn to them but I have been drawn a lot to DNA and genetics lately and how consciousness affects genetics which is very galactic very Andromedan aspect so the different things you'll be into could kind of give you the tip off also what comes into your energetic field if you see a lot of stuff on UFOs, if you see a lot of stuff on, um, oh God, what was what I was going to say? I forgot now. If you see a lot of stuff on aliens, what comes into your field? Because that's going to give you an idea of where you are. Because people who are seeing a lot of that stuff, it's just them. They're just aspects of them. I will usually play a game. I just call it a game. Because when I would dream about galactic races I would always kind of have a similar dream where I'd be talking to something whether it be a dog a child it was normally not another adult and I would always ask the question you know what news from the council the galactic council and I don't usually I don't remember what the, the other person said when I wake up the frequency is so different I don't remember it but sometimes I'll be walking if I'm behind a big group of people I'll do that energetically I'll just repeat that question <laughs> energetically and if there are dogs or kids or adults in front of me and I'll see who turns around because <laughs> I'll know that person has very strong galactic ties whether they know it or not whether it be the dog whether it be the child sometimes it's the adult normally it's the children because they're not that removed from it that's why when you know babies come in they don't really care who holds them they don't have any connection to anything yet because they're still very much into those galactic influences and there's no connection any of this stuff there's no connection to anyone like you'll see different people talk about their soul family their galactic family usually galactic family soul family I we kind of tend to all in a way kind of gravitate together your galactic family you might know your galactic family and you have star ties but you really don't want to be around them <laughs> we're a galactic family but you can be galactic family over there we don't need to be here <laughs> you go over there and you do it I don't need to be around you it's just a very detached energy it's it's you have to experience it if you once you start experience, experiencing it you'll understand so look at how that type those type of aspects present to you like when people see UFOs it's kind of like seeing a ghost or what they would perceive as a ghost it's just an energy imprint it's just it's just them seeing them they just are disconnected from it so they see it as something separate from them that's why it scares a lot of people because people don't want to think that's them but it is us it's kind of very circular logic so I think I'll leave it at that so everyone see how the galactics aliens UFOs see what strikes a chord see what strikes an activation and keep practicing the art of intuition